Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here talking about UFC Fight Night 42 coming to you live on Fox Sports 1. Tonight we saw some flyweight division with John Dodson going up against John Moraga in a uh, flyweight fight that uh, is going to set up who's going to be the number one contender more than likely for the flyweight championship match that's going to be held on UFC 174 next week. I thought this was an awesome fight. I've heard about John, Do John Dodson, but this is the first time I've ever seen him fight. It was awesome to see him fight in his hometown. Uh, UFC is there for the first time in Albuquerque, New Mexico, holding their first uh, their first fight there, and this guy was as animated as could be. I loved watching the flyweight guys fight because they just come out just full on, just just <laughs> they're not just gonna sit there and pound on each other like the heavyweights do. They're bouncing around the ring, and it reminds me a lot about when I watch wrestling. When I watch the little guys, uh, Rey Mysterio, Chavo Guerrero. Uh, those sort of dudes just bounce around the ring before you know it. They're taking bumps off the top rope. Uh, the, 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 these guys just held up and held their own. And uh, Dodson just threw punches in there. And in, in the uh, near the end of the second round, he just got him where um, Moraga put down his, his guard and Dodson put his knee. Boom! I got to back up a little bit so you guys can see that. Boom! Knee. Right to the nose, and it just exploded. He jumped on him and just hit him with punches all the way in there. Uh, he was saved by the bell, uh, Zach Morris style. Uh, we did have an end of the second round. They did go to commercial. Uh, when they came out of commercial, uh, they had everybody lined up in the ring, ready to say that they had a decision. There was a stoppage due to a doctor. Uh, Sam Moraga's nose was just too fucked up. He couldn't go. He wasn't even in the ring uh, for the post-fight um, uh, you know, interview. Uh, with Dodson, Dodson, you know, you know, gave it up to him, said that he had a good fight, you know, he said that he deserved to be the number one contender, he hopes the UFC does look at him to move in that way, gave it up to his home crowd, uh, he was way over, everybody there was loving him big time, he, he gave big props to everybody, saying that, you know, most people think of Albuquerque, New Mexico, as of coming from, uh, you know, in, in the middle of nowhere, but, uh, you know, we got to see, you know, everybody came out for this fight, Mel Gibson was even sitting, you know, front row, uh, sitting there with the cage, you know, he's got a good seat for the fight, and uh, Dodson was just saying, you know, it was, it was a good place. It was awesome to have USC come there in his hometown. He got the show off for all his buddies, but, you know, he's moving on. He wants that flyweight title. He wants a shot. The guy that, you know, hopefully he's going to fight is the guy that he trains with. If not, he's going to bring it against the other guy. And, uh, you know, it's always fun. You know, John Dodson's like a little cartoon character. Uh, he's great on the mic with a wrestling-style promo after that was all said and done. Big knee uh, to the nose. It was hard to defend against that. The guy had... No, no, no hands anywhere near his face. That nose just exploded. There was blood everywhere. They were cleaning off the, the mat. Uh, it was good to see Dodson get the win. He's going to move on. More than likely uh, have a uh, championship fight in an up upcoming uh, UFC pay-per-view. So uh, give it up to Dodson. More than likely to be your future flyweight champion.